Okay, so let's uh, step out and begin by feeling into your three pillars. So we want to establish that as our point of reference in all these uh, internal exercises. So feel the balls of your feet. Your knees are unlocked and you're sinking down into the earth, releasing down very, very soon. And release your hip joint so that, that there's no restriction there. You're unkinking the hose in your, in your pelvic area. And you also want to reach up with the crown of your head, tuck in the chin, and open your jade pillow gate. So keeping that awareness there of that lengthening of the spine and opening up the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull. And then that allows the energy to much, move much more freely. And we're beginning by establishing that heaven earth connection. So we're having that as our, our point of orientation here. We're establishing our central equilibrium by aligning to the yin chi of the earth, the yang chi of the heavens, and also the direction, the infinite down of the of the earth, the infinite up of the of the heavens. And just feel yourself reaching and connecting up to that. So you become part of this circuit that's extending upward, downward. And you allow your mind to extend way past your normal boundaries. So in doing so, you're enhancing your personal space as you do that. You're creating a very large reservoir of chi below your feet and extending upward and connecting up to a big one up there too. You feel your index fingers and establish your energetic coherence. Your point and reach with your index finger. Establish your energetic coherence. <clears throat> Reach out very so slightly with your elbows. You just want to feel that that elbow is just 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 a very gentle expansion, just enough so that you're releasing your chronic shoulder tension. Yeah, I'm assuming that most of us have something in that in that there. So there's a a tendency to just initiate movement via the shoulders. But just reach out a little bit with it with the elbows. That activates our, the elbow chin and opens up the shoulders, allows the chi to flow. Relax your lower back and allow your sacrum to drop. Flattening out your, your lumbar area a bit. So what we're doing here is we're connecting up the base of the spine at the Wei Lu point. At the coccyx, connecting that up with the top of your head. And so there's this, you're lengthening your spine and allowing the chi to flow freely along the, uh, along the spine and the uh, do meridian, the do uh, channel. Also the penetrating vessel gets opened up with that. Now I want you to the Bagua hand is like it's open, very open. It's reaching out. It's not tense, but it's extending. So they, you're feeling yourself kind of reaching with your little finger and extending outward with that. And you get this kind of rounded palm, open fingered. So they have this, this, this it's big. You're, like you're palming a, a, a volleyball with your with your hand, but there's no tension there. So just but feel into that and just notice how that 
changes things just by doing that. Just by bringing awareness to your Bagua hand. And feel the energy that comes from being in your, having your three pillars established and your, just having your hands reaching out like that. Having your elbows reaching out. So we're having, we're already starting to crank up the chi. So right now I'm facing uh, east. So to my, to my left is north, to my right is south, and behind me is west. So as best you can, you want to have some sense of the directions that you're facing. It doesn't have to be exact, but you want to have some, some sense of that and you can fine tune it. You know, and, you know, whenever you practice you know, by yourself, but the, uh, for right now, just have some awareness of there and what we're doing here is we're meeting the direction. It's, it's as if it's a person. You're greeting, like I'm facing east, I'm greeting the east. And I'm opening to the energy of the east to come. I'm meeting that with my, with my whole being. At the same time, I'm also meeting west behind me. And Master Yang says, you, you ask for it to, to give you the energy. He says, you know, you're asking it to, to help you with, with, the, with that big chi. The, the big chi, the infinite chi of the universe is coming in and you get to eat the chi. You're eating the chi and it, it's, you're just asking it to fill you up. <laughs> so doing this, we're enhancing our space, our personal space. We're getting very big. To my left is north. So I'm meeting that too. I'm saying, hey, north, how's it going? Come on in. You know, and the same thing with south. So I'm, 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 those directions are filling me up also. And as you do this, by meeting this, you notice that you're, you're, you're shifting into a super conscious state. Your mind clears. There's just this big now. You got these, I got north, south, east, west, heaven, earth. And I get to occupy this position right in the center. Now, if we think of it in terms of the Wuxing, the five elements, we have that position in the center here is earth, the earth element. I get to occupy this earth element at, at, in this, this, this place right here, but the earth also fills up all the other elements as well. And then my south is giving me fire, fire chi. Fire, the fire element is filling up. And that nourishes my heart. And the heart is emotion, the emotion of heart is joy. The north is giving me water. And the west is giving me the metal element. East is giving me the uh, wood. And 
so just as you're you're meeting, but you're eating the cheese that it's being presented to you. And this is where we start our bagua. We begin with this encountering the big chi in this way so that we're kind of part of this vast system and we get to move with it. We get to kind of ride the currents through the system, ride the different energies. In the balls of your feet, feel that. Without letting go of the of all those directions, you, you don't have to think about it, you just allow it to keep filling you up. And then just reach with your wrists and bring your hands up to about belt high. Just feel Feel that, get that bagua hand, and just feel into the chi there. Reach with your elbows and open your shoulders. Open your back. Feel between your shoulder blades. And as you reach forward, pull back with your body so you're feeling these holes in opposition. Now pull back with your hands and go forward with your body and Feel those poles in opposition. And then reach forward, go back with your body, reach forward with your hands, sink in your heels as you go back and feel into that. Go into the balls of your feet as you pull back. Body goes forward. And you want to eat that chi too. So all these things are giving us more chi than we ordinarily handle. But we're increasing our ability to, to carry, to store and circulate the chi, but also to throw it away. And so hands come down, put your heels, and feel the yin sink into the earth. Feel the energy kind of coming down and through, it's just like, like it's water going down a drain. It's circulating down, 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 emptying out. Feel that yin chi. Now go into the balls of your feet. Reach with your wrists. And reach out with your hands. Back with your body. Feel that. Now, feel your elbows. Open your shoulders. Open your back. And separate very slowly separate your hands by reaching with your elbows. You're opening, shoulders are very open, relaxed. You're feeling that connection all the way down through your feet and into the earth. You're reaching out with your hands, opening, and feel that separation there. Feel the effect of pulling those poles in opposition. And eat that chi too. Press down, sink into your heels, and very yin. Feel the energy circulating down, 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 that watery centripetal kind of spiral downward. Now go into the balls of your feet, reach of the wrists. Reach out, 
pull back with your body and now reach with your elbows open open feel feel the tendons ligaments in your arms the fascia feel the tensegrity as you do that remember to keep that bagua hand open And then sink into your heels as your hands come down. See yourself emptying out, but also creating this void that allows for the energy to come to come in. And then hands come up to belt high, pick up your right foot and step forward with your right foot. Now sink into your right foot, your right heel, and then your right ball, and then reach forward and out with your hands open, extend out your offering. Feel that opening between your shoulder blades. A connection all the way down through your legs and through through your feet and into the earth. Then sink into your back foot and press down. Step back. And your heels and Empty out again. Reestablish your connection to the to the heaven, earth, north, south, east, west. Feel that connection. Feel your space getting bigger, bigger as you fill those the, the different directions. Eat the chi, keep it coming. And don't forget to throw it away. You eat it and you throw it away. Going to the balls, reach with your wrists, reach with the fingers, reach with the elbows, reach open. Sink into your heels, hands come down, in, palms up. Step forward with your right foot, heel, feel the heel. Now feel the ball and reach, open, extend. Feel, feel that extension, feel it going all the way through your back. Now feel the heel of your left foot. Sink in, set the left knee and spiral down to the left as you as you turn. Okay, you're spiraling down and turning. Your your leg is, is stationary. You're using your quad to do that. And at the same time, you're reaching up and out with your right hand as you're turning and reaching down with your left. So it looks like like this, where I'm going here, and then I'm going heel and turn, and as I do that, I'm reaching up and up and out with my right hand. My left hand is is I'm reaching around with my elbow as I turn. My whole body's turning, pressing down with my left hand. Notice that. My hand, my elbow is, is set like this, and my arm is reaching out at an angle. Left hand is reaching down like this. Okay, step back. Kick into your heels and let that go. Feel that energy going. Eat the chi. Throw it away. So 
Of the balls of your feet, reach of the wrists. Reach with the fingers, open the back. With the heels, open, reach with the elbows. Hands come down, sink. Palms up. Step forward with your right foot. Right heel, right ball, reach. Left heel, set the left knee, spiral down to the right, and then turn to the left, reaching forward and out with your right hand, left hand pressing down as you turn. So your whole body is turning. So the right hand is, is stays like this, and you're moving away from it. So you're separating your, the poles in opposition, you're pulling the left hand, you're opening, you're stretching your rubber band there between the two as you spiral down to the to the left. You're going to pivot on the right heel. And sink into that right heel, right set the right knee. You're going to spiral down and you're going to step around with the left foot. So you're coming here and you're circling it around so that you're now facing to the, uh, well, I'm facing to the south when I do this. And the turn, so that you're turning and spiraling. So now I'm facing west. My body faces south, now I turn, turn, turn. Now it's facing west. And my arms, as I do this, I'm going to come around and I'm going to step around like this and I'm going to turn so that, notice here, you're facing straight on. I'm going to da, 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 like 90 degrees this way and holding my hands like I'm holding the ball in Tai Chi as I spiral down into the, uh, uh, all the way to the right. So here we're doing something very different than what we do in Tai Chi. Ordinary Tai Chi, we like to keep the hips and shoulders moving as a unit. And we have this, you know, we get our power, you know, from this, 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 everything is moving together. Bagua is different. Bagua says, no, we don't want to do that. We're going to, we're going to spiral. Everything's going to turn, right? And we, you get, we're getting this, this kind of back and forth rotational thing going on in the body. So it really opens up your back, opens up your spine and your, uh, the whole system. We go back to, uh, back to the, uh, the neutral place, go into the heels, sink, reestablish your compass points. Meet the east, meet the west behind you. I'm meeting the west behind me. Meet the east, meet the west, meet the north, meet the south, where it is in, you know, depending on where you're all facing right now. Meet the heavens, meet the earth. Feel yourself right there at the center, the earth energy right in the center. Very yin, you know, but yin, but very substantial. We're going, we're allowing the the chi to go down, but at simultaneously, it's just the the yin chi, the earth is ascending, filling us up. Going to the balls of the feet. <laughs> Reach, reach of the fingers, open the back.
separate. Feel the tensegrity as if the fingers are one part of one system. You can feel it through your back and there's they're connected. They're like pulling these rubber bands apart as you as you stretch. And the hands come down, go to your heels. Feel the yin sink into the earth. Palms up. Feel the receptivity now. Very yin. You're very receptive. Feel the heaviness of the energy in your hands pressing down on your arms, down the palms of your hands like you're, you're carrying weights in your hands, like a shot put there. So then we step with the right foot and reach Open, open, extend. Sink in the heel of the left foot, barrel down to the right, and then turn to the left. Reach forward and out with the right hand, press down with the left. Feel the pulse in opposition here. And in this exercise, I'm, I'm deliberately exaggerating the arms. I might, you know, if I'm doing a Bagua form, I might do it a little differently. But for this exercise, I really want you to feel that, that energy of the opening there. I want to feel that, that extension, you know, of the, of the, between the two hands and the, the body is pulling away and just feeling that opening there. Okay. So now we're going to, as we we're going to sink into the, um, so, boom, the pivot on the right heel, 90 degrees, is as close as you can get, and come around with your left foot, and then spiral down to the right, and holding, holding the ball over here. So your, your left hand is reaching toward your right, your right hand is reaching toward the left, your elbows are reaching out, opening up the shoulders. So now you're going to, left hand is going to come up under your armpit and reach up and your body turns. Pivot on your left heel and you've turned around. You spiral the other way now. You're pressing down with your right hand, reaching out with your left. This is a basic Bagua posture. There's a bunch of them, but this is a basic one here where what we're doing here is the right arm, notice how it's curved, it's, it's rounded, right? And it's very characteristic of Bago. There's a roundedness and everything. So we're we're here like this. It's you're reaching out with the elbow. Everything is rounded. You're reaching with the with the head. So this you got this this thing that's pressing down. You want to have your thumb pointing to your navel. So so you're here like this. You're you're reaching out like that. You're opening in your left hand. So the, notice the elbow is in line with my body. It's in line with my shoulder. Okay, I'm not out here like this. I'm here. I'm straight like that, and reaching out with my left hand. So what we don't want is this. We're looking for this. So we get this. We this this is kind of a kind of a nothing posture. This gives us a very profound martial posture that this reaching, notice how it's extending outward. This is extending out. Everything is opening. We're lengthening the connective tissue. We're getting that tensegrity in the whole system as we open that up. And everything uh, getting very big. 
So not only are we expanding our space externally, we're expanding our space internally. We're opening. So it gets this, your arms get very long. Your, your reach becomes you know, quite profound. So it's, it's something that comes with this, with this opening. You're, you're allowing the, you know, the universe to flow through you and fill you and, and keep you expanding in all directions. Let's go back to back to beginning here and back to the heels. And empty out. Back to the yin. Feel your hands. Feel the four directions. Feel the heavens. Feel the earth. Eat the chi. Feel your central equilibrium. Tuck in your chin, open up the jade pillow gate. Keep everything moving. Keep the chi moving because we're cranking up a lot of chi right now. And you want to keep it moving. You want to keep it circulating. You, you don't want to jam up anywhere. So all this stuff is, is opening up. So you want to keep that, keep that uh, part of the deal there. Okay, so here we go. So fall to your feet, reach with your wrist. Arms are very soft. Fingers open, reaching out. Lengthening, feel that stretch there between your shoulder blades. And reach with the elbows. Oh, feel that stretch, feel the rubber bands pulling apart. Opening the chest, opening the shoulders. Hands come down, sink into your heels. Oh, feel the yin. So we're, we went from, from moving up into the heavens and now we're moving down into the earth. Rotate with palms up. Feel, feel the weight in your hands. Receive, take that energy in, eat it. Throw it away, eat, eat some more, throw that away. It's a, uh, it's a big buffet. Okay. Step forward to the right foot. Right heel, right ball. Reach out and open. Notice I'm really opening here. Okay. I'm, I'm extending outward. I'm gathered. So the, the, the whole body is really has that that extension there. I'm still have my central equilibrium, but it's 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 right here. It's right over my right foot. I can feel that. So, so I'm reaching out. And let me do it this way this time. So I'm here like this. And so now I'm going to take left heel, spiral down to the right, and the left ball and turn. Reach out with the right hand and spiral down to the left. Okay, so I'm getting pressing down. Notice this whole whole system turns as a unit. And but the right arm stays out there. The right arm, I'm turning, the right arm stays as I turn. Pivot on the right heel. Sink into set the right knee. Spiral down and turns. Come around and really sink into that right claw. Right here, you're sinking down and you're, you're reaching with the left hand, reaching with the right hand, and you have this spiraling energy just, just creating this vortex in your body. You know what we're going to do? We're going to, oh, we're going to reach up, reach under the armpit and reach up. 
This is exaggerated, but I want you to really get the feeling of that opening there, reaching up with your hands, and then you turn, pivot on your left heel, and open. Reach out with your left hand. You want the uh, You want the this little notch here between your your thumb and forefinger. You want it at eye level. Okay, so you're reaching out. So the hand's fairly high. It's not down here. It's it's fairly high. It's like like you know if you're, you want to put that in somebody's face. You know that's that's what you got there. Your hand's there in somebody's face. Your your right hand, your right arm is is that rounded shape. Reaching out, okay. So we we're here. We reach out. What we're we gonna do now? We're gonna reach under the left armpit with the right hand. Reach up and pivot and turn around the opposite way. So we're gonna reach. With the right hand out this time, left hand is pressing down, and we twist it the other way. And bring this left hand up under, and turn, pivot on the right heel, pivot on the left heel, and turn. So we're back, we're twisting, we're looking over, your, over the left shoulder now. Right hand comes up under the left arm. Pivot on your left heel. Pivot on your right heel. And reach. And then step in. Hands come down. Sink in your heels. And to feel into the yin now. Throw the energy away. And then eat some more and then throw that away. Feel your connection to the directions. North, south, east, west, heaven, earth. Take a deep breath, hands come up. Big yeah, big young. Now heels and big in. Throw it all away. Empty out. Go to the go to the emptiness. I was wondering if you could just do that sequence once without talking, just uh, for continuity. Okay. Okay, we're going to do it uh, once. We're going to do that uh, sequence once through for continuity. Okay. So uh, doing without, uh, without. But do you do it facing? Do it facing? Yes. So people okay. And see where the arms go. Okay, here we go. So let me begin. Thank you so much. 